I don't think the Indian media is going to let me sleep today. Please! She can't be that stupid! Please! Gold shoulder. <laughs> Welcome to a uh, very unusual episode of Smile to Janna. Smile to Janna. I honestly can't believe I'm making a video on this. All right, guys, let me let, let me set the context here. So Imran Khan defied the haters in India who expected him to flop his UN speech. Imran Khan's survival depends on this speech um, that he's in the line of fire if he's unable to rake up Kashmir effectively. So it's a very crucial speech for Pakistan's prime minister. Rather, he went there with no notes, took double the time and still managed to make his speech go viral. His topics were both relevant and courageous. Like I mentioned before, he talked about climate change, tax, debt, and Islamophobia, as well as Kashmir. So the Indian media, rightly so, were cheesed off. They needed a story that would really hit back. A story that would take all the attention away from his speech and leave him with zero credibility. Unfortunately, however, they found a story that made them look like somebody with an IQ of minus three. Someone with one functioning brain cell amongst hundreds. Someone who you just feel sorry for. They decided to run with such a story that when someone tweeted it to me, I honestly thought it was a prank. They accused Imran Khan's wife of either having two pet jinns, i.e. devils, to whom she feeds meat, or being a jinn, a devil herself, because she doesn't have a reflection. I mean, what sort of retaliation is this? You guys should not be cutting off 8 million people for 50 days. It's inhumane. Ah uh, yeah? Well, your wife has got two devils who she feeds meat to. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, what? You heard us. In fact, she's a devil because she doesn't have a reflection. If there were ambulances for emergencies and stupidity, I would have called the whole fleet just for you, mate. Aha! But you didn't deny it, did you? Ya Allah, I know you've taken their sense away, but give a little bit back just for their survival because if we leave them alone for a little bit longer they might start eating themselves in fact some of them already do that but they're like a fringe minority <sighs> may allah have mercy on india it's a really tough time that they're going through and don't get me wrong there's like a billion indians yeah not all of them feel the same way or even agree with what's going on but it is this voice that we're hearing. So I would urge the other Indians to speak out. Otherwise, you're going to be witnessing the downfall of your own country. After all, apparently Pakistan is working with devils and feeding them meat. So if that's true, you know, what's India going to be firing with? Gold shoulder. All right, guys, until next time. With an IQ of minus three. Salaamu Alaikum.